Hi everyone, welcome back. It's my garage series here. Um, man, you know, I should have turned on the lights a little bit more better. Uh, matter of fact, I will. Let me I have to walk around the house, or walk around the garage here, walk around this side. Uh, okay. I have to walk around this side here. There we go. Bikes are in the way. You can see my bikes here. There we go. Turn on the light. You can see my bikes. This is how I have it, uh, this is kind of more or less how I have it all configured here. My bike, co-pilot, rad mini. Anyways, let me go rock around now. Uh, all right. All right. So here's the plastic piece here. Here's the plastic piece here, and uh, you kind of see the. You probably see a little cracking. It's cracked right here, down a little bit right here, and also slightly, slightly cracked right about here. So uh, I already got this warmed up. I already got this warmed up. It's already plugged in. This is simple. Man, bought this a long time ago. Still using it. Uh, I don't use solder too much, um, but um, got this little piece right here as well. Kind of keep it warm that way. Let me see. Keep it warm, yeah. So I know it's on. Let me. Okay, I feel I feel the heat. So I know it's it's on. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna solder. I wouldn't say solder. Uh, weld. I'm not even sure if I can say I'm welding either, but let me see which side am I going to do first. So it's right here. This so this is the side here that's pretty cracked. Um, I'm going to try to test this out first. Uh, I don't know what type of material or plastic this is. I don't know what type of plastic this is, but um, I'm going to. I wish I was in a better, better area, better situation for this here. I'm going to put you on lock mode and just pan you down. I think this might be a better idea. There we go. about as low as it can go. Let's see which one I was going to do first. I was going to do this one here. So, gosh, it's a messy. I got a messy workstation, what can I say? So I'm going to try to do this small little crack right here at the corner. And I'm going to just try to, I'm going to test it out first. Let me do the back side. Back side is kind of cracked. I gotta see where the crack is. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little test right here, and uh, I should I should wear my gloves just in case I burn myself. But let's just test it out. Just come here and make a little line. It's really soft. Okay. And then uh, I try to. Jam, jam the material inside the crevice that I created, and even smooth it out. Try to smooth it out. It gets, as you can tell, it gets. It's not going to be pretty, but it does get it done in. Hmm. That smell God. doesn't smell sweet has a burning smell to it. I would have to say it's something something else. It's a familiar smell. It's a certain type of plastic, that's for sure. So, so I've been taking a quick look at where that crack is and yeah that's kinda where the crack is so I didn't I didn't I didn't do it all the way. 
So I gotta. There's a. I gotta. I gotta, I gotta make sure that I get all the crack, or it'll, the crack will just continue. There we go. Just fill it back in. Try to fill it back in. Smooth it out. Alright, so we got to the crack area, cracked part. Uh, you can barely even see it now. Uh, you can see it's cracked right up here to the top as well. So I'm going to try to get that area. I'm trying to see where exactly is it cracked. It's right, right here, so. goes up here. Let me feel that. Okay. I'm trying to get an idea of where it, it starts here on the inside. I'm going to do the inside now. It feels like it just goes right up here. Get a little, a little string here like that. And then I'm try to fuse it. Fuse it together. Smells like cheap PVC. Try not to inhale some of this stuff if you can avoid inhaling it. I'm just trying to smooth it out now. So it's just... There we go. Alright, it's not pretty. I know it's not pretty, but okay. there you go. That's just a small little sample right here where it cracked. And uh... okay, so just trying to extend the life. It's not gonna. This is not repairing it or it's just temporary. It's eventually going to crack. Just wiping off any excess plastic. So. Let me see if I. Okay, I'm just experimenting with the uh, the mode. I have it locked so it doesn't even pan. So, uh, this is going to be a little tough here. So on this side here where it's there's a larger crack, you can actually see the cracking go all the way down through here. Uh, there's a little another crack right here at the edge. So let me work on that small little edge. Um, the important thing is to get it I'm going to try to get it as tight and close that gap. I'm going to try to close that gap up here. Just let me pan down one more time. So you guys can see that. So there's a little crack right here at the corner here. I'm going to try to compress it. 
and I'm going to try to just seal it up best I can. I'm going to follow that crack. Just try to seal it up. Gently I'll go over it. There we go. Take it to the other side here. sure you get to the end of that crack and cover that wherever it starts cracking. Okay, so that much is done. Now I'm going to cover it, smooth it out, try to blend that in there. It's not going to look pretty, but it will hold, should hold, I should say. Smoky. It's getting a little smoky here. Okay, now I'm going to get to the inside here. Just move that out. Trying to smooth that out so it just has a stronger hold on it. Don't go too crazy because you'll burn through the plastic. It would just get thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. Which defeats the whole purpose. Okay, so I got I got this little edge part right here of the crack. Oh, it's still warm. Now you can see I think you can see this a lot better now. See that? So now I'm going to work on this, uh, push it up against as much as you can. I'm going to do the outside first. I'll try to see where it starts. It's quite a, quite a bit. It actually starts all the way right. It starts all the way right about here. So I'm going to start there because I want it to to start where the cracking begins. Okay. Where is it? I'm just, just going to leave a little mark because I can't see it when I push it together. So it's right about here. Okay. I'm going to push it together as much as I can. Can't even hardly see it, and then work my way back towards it. Or I should work. Let me see if I. I'll try to fuse it going the other way. Okay, right here. Here, there it is. Now I see it. Try to fuse it going this way. Go ahead, just go right into it. Be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, 
All right, it's fused. Now I'm gonna try to uh, just cover it here. Sorry if you did. Sorry if you're missing some of this here. Let me turn it back. There we go. I'm just gonna blend it in. Cover that hole up and blend it in. Excellent. Make sure you don't breathe in any of the smoke. Do it in a well ventilated area. That's all squeezing it, holding it tight as I'm doing this. Let's go over it one more time now that I got it all hot. See where it's where it's uh, where it cracked. Just want to make sure that's well covered. It's not pretty, but it gets it done. Now I'm going to do the top here. Just trying to smooth it out. All right, so fortunate enough you can uh, get to the inside as well. So I'm going to do the inside here. It's gonna be kind of tough to do this, but uh, I'll try to do it. Let me move over to the anvil. I think I can. There we. Go. Okay. Okay, this is probably the best way to do it right here. I'm just gonna anchor it right on the anvil. I'm gonna try to. It's already kind of fused together on one side, so I'm just going to try my best to fuse it on the inside here. Let's just go right into it where I think it's going to be, right? Just a little bit angled. There we go. Start right about here. Okay. I'm trying to fuse it together. Now I'm going to try to my best of just trying to smooth it out now. Layer over the plastic into the groove. Whew. I guess it doesn't have to be as clean because it's in a corner, it's really hard to reach. 
I don't want to be sharp. I don't want to have any sharp uh, edges here. I think this might even continue on a little bit further, so I'll just keep doing that. No, I don't want to burn a hole through here. That's the important thing. be it. Uh, I don't see anything, any other... Just gonna give it some time to cool now. I don't want to pull on it just yet. I want to make sure that uh, all the holes are covered, welded as much as possible. But I did get all the weld. I see a little bit right here. Beginning of a... Okay. okay, there we go. Just look it over just one more time. See a little bit longer scratch mark right here. Just moving it out. Trying to smooth this out as much as I can. All right, that's it. That's it. I think I'm I'm satisfied with it. I think uh, I think that might solve the the problem. Uh, now I just gotta wipe this wipe this off a little bit. Don't burn yourself. Be careful. Okay. All right. Put this away. Put you back on full pan mode. There we go. Put this away and turn it off by unplugging it. And wow, it is getting hot and humid out here. Okay, done. All right. So let's have a look out here in the sun here. Uh, there you go. That's what it looks like. Uh, Okay. I know it's not pretty and uh, it, it just it won't be pretty but you could try to sand it down and but I won't even bother sanding it down I try to keep the bond or as much plastic on here getting a little lightheaded from all that plastic smoke it gets kind of toxic um, all right so okay once I put it in the refrigerator and it gets cold that's it. It's gonna, it's gonna probably uh, get a little bit more rigid. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, uh, hold on here. I'll go to the fridge and uh, we'll open it up. Okay, inside the house. Let's take a look at the fridge here, and I'll show you. Uh, you'll see my my fridge here, where. It kind of broke off here. So here it is. This is the part where it should be, or actually it should be on this shelf. 
I hope it I hope it uh, holds up. The problem is it it's right here at the edges. You can see where it's bending. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of pressure on it. It's a little bit weaker, but let me see. Is this a crack or is this just a? There, there it is. Okay, hopefully that will hold everything. I'm gonna let it co cool down and get a little bit rigid as much as possible before I put anything back in. All right, this concludes this episode of how you weld or fix plastic. Um, if you have any parts that are cracking or breaking, uh, sooner the better. Uh, but it's only a matter of time before it breaks. So I'm just buying myself some more time. No, oh, actually, this is cracked right here. This is cracked. So I'm gonna have to fix this part right here too. So, oh, let's let's go back. Got it. Found another cracked piece. Gonna have to fix that. Find all the cracked little pieces here. So not quite done yet. Got one more. Found a little cracked area. All right. All right. So here I am. Let's plug this back in. Hopefully it hasn't cooled off enough. Okay. So I did find another cracked area. Right. Right here. I'm trying to see if no, it's just right here. And, on the bottom yeah it's right where this support is right here I'm gonna have to kind of finesse it a little bit but uh, let's just quickly get this fixed here Sorry, I made my line here. I'm just gonna try to cover it up. Stitching it almost feels like stitching, but you're not stitching, you're melting. And I'm just trying to smooth it out. And it's not gonna be pretty. It will never be pretty, but it will last a little bit longer. Just try and smooth it out now, it's because it's the top piece. There we go, try to smooth out that plastic. Try to fuse the trying to fuse the plastic uh, together. And then this one is cracked right at the edge here. Cracked right at this edge here. So I'm gonna try to do my best to, uh... now there's a lot of plastic piece right here. So I can probably use some of that to really strengthen this area, there we go. Try to get right underneath it too. And so I'm gonna use this extra piece of plastic over here to really try to, try to uh, weld that piece together 
as much as I can. Push this plastic down onto here. Just try to push that plastic down to that corner. This doesn't have to be pretty. There we go. Actually keeps on going too. I see it. I actually see it. It's actually, oh. it's, watch your fingers when you touch this. It actually goes, keeps going right all the way up to here. I have to use the tip to stitch this area. Just in case, I'm going to just fuse it just a little bit down the inside here, just in case there's some. If there was any tears that were going to begin. There we go. Use it again. Alright. Okay. Is there any more? I saw this another one. This doesn't look like it. Looks like part of the injection molding here. Alright, just want to make sure before I finally leave it to rest. thing will hold up. Really hate to go back in, put it back in to only break again. Okay. Just really looking at it, examining it. Make sure I got all of it. I don't want it to crack again. Okay, is there any other pieces that look like they're going to crack? Okay, all right, I think that's it. Alright, let's get this wiped down again. Watch your fingers when you do this. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Put your back on pan mode, sorry about that. I had to cut in and cut out. Uh, let's take this off. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Alright. Oh, it's sweating outside. Got the body armor on and everything. Alright. I don't think you're missing much. Alright, so now I'm gonna 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here and uh, and then leave it here empty. Okay, looks good. And let it let it cool down. And let it cool down and get it cold. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.